Hey, what's good, everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today, we're going to make a beat with a loop. Now, uh, you know, sometimes you get in a bind, you get writer's block, and you just uh, need some inspiration. Audioblocks.com is definitely an awesome site to go to to get inspiration, uh, you know, get some loops, music, whatever. You know, uh, it's all royalty free, which is really nice. And um, let's just listen to some of these sounds here. I'm just, uh, I search for piano loops. That's dope. I'm definitely downloading that. Let's see here. That one's nice too. So we already have a few, uh, you know, a couple um, piano loops right now that we can uh, start making beats with. What I did want to mention to you guys is that uh, Audioblocks has one of the largest stock audio libraries, 100,000 clips, loops, uh, music, and sound effects. So it's definitely one of the biggest and largest uh, audio libraries out there. And all of these audio clips come with a royalty-free agreement. You can't get hit with any copyright claims or whatever. So they're giving away seven days of audio blocks so you can try it out and get uh, access to this massive stock audio library and royalty-free licenses all for free, which is insane. So I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys that you could check out. Uh, it's audioblocks.com forward slash YouTube. Again, get seven days for free. Definitely check that out. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome deal. Now let's go ahead and import uh, these, uh, these loops that we just downloaded and see what we can come up with in terms of a beat here. I'm just importing those into Logic right now. So let's go ahead and solo out the first one that I downloaded and imported into Logic. So that's 126 BPM. As you can see, they list it directly in the title. So it's nice and easy for you to see what the BPM is, what you have to set it to. And uh, let's see, this other one is 75 BPM. So I'm going to Bring that down. The other one's muted, so it won't matter if I change the, uh, the tempo right now. I think I'm actually going to roll with this one right now. All right. So I'm going to loop this a little more. We need some sort of a bass sound, I think. Let's go ahead and uh, open up our software instrument here. And see, you know, once you import a, a loop like that, you know, you could build off of it, which is really um, a great thing. All right, so let's uh, take a look at uh, what we got here. Let's go with an alchemy. And I need a nice bass sound. Something like a... You like that down a couple octaves Let's see what that sounds like on top of this oh I gotta have the other one muted I just needed to know the scale Now. 
Let's see if we got something. Up. top of that. hats a little bit let's see here let's go to our brush tool let's use this uh see here let's try one three two i think we need triplets here let's do some triplets
Let's see here. Put those in one eighth. to quantize and now let's uh, go ahead and uh, add a, a EQ take some of that low end off and a quick reverb let's see let's go to reverb silver verb that's definitely my favorite one <laughs> Now, let's go ahead and duplicate this, and we'll uh, maybe add a piano to this, just for the second part of that verse. So at least what I'm hearing in my head. Let's see here, let's do a piano, quick uh, Steinway Grand Piano. some uh, MIDI transformation to this, do this humanized thing. got a quick groove going I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video I definitely enjoyed making this video shout out to audioblocks.com for giving me the opportunity to you know show you guys what you could do with loops if you have questions you know what to do put those in the comment section my name is CJ Beats and I'm out for now Peace.